Hello, welcome to Atmosphere for Miracles. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. You know, the book of Acts chapter 10 in verse 38 tells us something. It says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Think about that. Imagine if God let all that end with Jesus as it happened in the book of Acts. Imagine that that was over. Just in what he told us. You know, you read the stories of Jesus, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and you find this amazing healing ministry with Jesus. And now, the book of Acts tells us it was God who anointed Jesus of Nazareth, who went about doing good and healing all those who were oppressed of the devil. Think of it. If that ended. And so everyone was left in his pain, in his affliction. But no. Jesus said to his disciples, As my Father had sent me, even so sent I you. Jesus said, I give you power. He said this to his disciples, I give you power over demons to cast them out and to cure diseases. Jesus said so. He says, I am with you always, even unto the end of the age. And then he said, these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. If they shall drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Then he said, they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. In other words, he expected us to do the same things that he did because he filled us with the same Holy Spirit that he had. So today, it's the very same thing that happened back in Bible days. That's happening in his name. No wonder the Bible says, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. That's Hebrews chapter 13 and verse number 8. It says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Why? His name has power. Because he was vested with God's power, with God's ability with authority. It's all in his name. His name is the same. And the power of God is the same, never changed. And is working for us today. And you're gonna see this in the highlights of our programs that we'll show you now. The Healing Streams Live Healing Services, which we hold um, every fourth month. You're going to watch this and see what the Lord did for so many who participated from around the world. Billions of them are involved in this, participating. Because we've got saints of God all over the world. God's people all around the world and ministers of the gospel all around the world working together with us to make this so huge. It's the biggest thing on earth. And now you watch a few minutes of this and be inspired and see how the Lord healed so many who shared with us their testimonies, amazing testimonies. You too will have a testimony in a moment. Watch this. There's much power Spirit 
is moving in our means. There's much power.
Worship Him everywhere. Worship Him everywhere. Worship Him everywhere. Worship Him. Worship Him. Glory, hallelujah. And I want to share a few thoughts with you from the Bible. On the name of Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus gave us the legal authority to use his name. You've heard people pray in the name of Jesus. You've heard people call on the name of Jesus. Have you ever wondered why? Why do we use the name of Jesus in prayer when we pray? And what does it mean? When you pray, in the name of Jesus. What does it mean? Are we even supposed to do it? Did Jesus tell us we could do it? And if we did it, what should we expect? I'm going to read a few verses to you. And the first one, the words of Jesus himself. What did he say? In St. John's Gospel, chapter 14, and I'm reading to you from verse number 13. These are the words of Jesus. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. That's extraordinary. This emphatically tells us that Jesus gave us the power of attorney to use his name. We have the legal power to use his name. He told us we could. He says, if you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Let's read that same scripture one more time. Far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also, look at that. He's above every name that is named. <laughs> anything that you can call, anything that you can name, that's amazing. Not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. That means then, now, and the future. Next verse. Watch now. And had put all things under his feet. God put all things under the feet of Jesus. <laughs> this is remarkable. And had put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head of all things to the church. Ay, ay, ay. Look at the next verse. Which is his body. The fullness of him that fill it on in all. Let me explain this to you. It's so simple, but it's so powerful, so profound. Those two verses, verses 22 and 23, what he's telling you is this. That God put all things under the feet of Jesus and then declared Jesus to be the head and made the church, all those who believe in him, his body. Meaning that Jesus becomes the head of a body that he calls the church. And then he calls the church the fullness. That means without the church, Jesus is incomplete in this world. And so when he says, and has put all things under his feet, he means that below, look at, your, look at your own body. Your head is at the top. Then you have the rest of your body. At the very lowest are your feet. So, no matter where you are, when you stand on anything that is below your feet, even the lowest member of your body is above such things. I asked you, what life are you living? God wants you to live like Jesus now. Live in his name from this day. 
don't allow sickness or disease or infirmity have dominion over you. And no matter the condition that you have right now, no matter the affliction, no matter what prognosis, don't worry. Say to yourself, today is my day of liberty from this disease, from this pain, from this affliction. I will use the name of Jesus. All over the world, we're going to use the name of Jesus. We're going to use the name of Jesus. And you'll use it now. Many received words that spurred a total change in their lives. Just like in Bible days, Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and sickness. Matthew 9.35 The man of God, Pastor Chris, ministered with so much compassion to all those who were sick and afflicted by the devil. She suffered from an enlarged liver, brain edema, kidney failure, and ovarian cysts. Power of God goes through goodness right now. The man of God lays his hands on it. Ankoma, are you ready for a miracle? It's happening already. I command the cancer to die. Thou spirit of darkness, come out of his body, come out of his bladder, come out of his kidneys. Get out of his body now. And come out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rise up. You are healed. Get up. Strength has come back to you. You're free. Your life is restored to you. Spirit of the Lord is here. That same spirit. That same spirit. That raised Jesus from the dead. Weakens your body. Mirella, USA, diabetes, kidney failure, 
and macular degeneration well that was before we started but now your life is restored to you you are here from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet perfected in Jesus name Mirella congratulations you're free thank God for what he's done for you there is power in this place his presence fills the earth by the mention of his name Now, I don't know if that's your name, Palace United Kingdom. Is that your name? You've been suffering from diabetes, hypertension, high cholesterol, glaucoma, asthma, back pain, and angina pain. Well, it doesn't matter how many they are, your life has been afflicted in so many ways but i bring you healing now in the name of the lord jesus and all the demons are leaving you now satan come out of her body and all the demons let her go let her go and she's free in the name of the lord jesus woman you're free in jesus name and everyone else who's not on the screen you're at home where you are you need a miracle you need God's intervention this is your hour this is your moment and I want to pray for you right now doesn't matter where you are in the world this is your moment to receive a miracle put your hand where you need it put your hand where you need it Maybe you had an accident and they told you you would never walk again. But that's not the way God sees it. That's the way man sees it. God thinks differently. The Bible says with God, nothing shall be impossible. Nothing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command the pains to cease. I command the infirmities to leave. I command the tumors to die. The cancers to die and pass out of your body. I come against deafness, dumbness, blindness, lameness, in the name of the Lord Jesus I command all those evil spirits to leave you devils of paralysis you demons of affliction I command you to come out of their bodies now come out now sight to be restored to the blind eyes hearing to be restored to those ears the ears are unstopped in Jesus name and the lameness is gone the strength to walk again the strength for you to walk again in the name of the Lord Jesus many around the world receive their miracles watch as they share their testimonies I had, uh, you know, kidney stones uh, and then the surgery was a failure. So they had to go in again. So, you know, because of two surgeries, it left me in pain, like flank pain. It's in the back on the left side that and they couldn't diagnose it. They said basically the answer was that you have to live with this pain. And I, I mean, imagine you're know, living in this pain and if you don't use bathroom or you don't drink water frequently, the pain would intensify. So that's what that was my life. You know, so everything had to be planned around this health issue that I had.
but uh, you know i joined the healing streams and then few days later i started noticing that the pain's gone you know that's when it occurred to me i had to receive my healing you know all this negativity everything has been removed i'm happy of course if i'm happy god is just moving me from glory to glory on the 9th of december 2021 i had two cardiac arrests that means my heart had stopped completely twice they had to revive my heart Uh, but they said the doctor said because there was bleeding in my stomach that is why my blood pressure went low it was 40 by 80 the blood pressure which is you know near death blood pressure and after that on the same day itself i went into coma for 8 weeks when i went into coma they said like the doctors told me that i had a bleed in my brain it is called hemorrhage my nephew pastor ashish kaloke from pune he invited me to attend the healing stream and he said pastor chris is a man of god and he will pray for you i said okay i will i will watch this i will attend this but then pastor chris prayed for me and as soon as even before he said amen i could feel that my heart is healing and it is been healing tell me have you heard anybody having three heart attacks uh going in coma for two months who was bedridden Have you ever heard anybody say that you know I'm walking because of Jesus Christ After 3 days after pastor uh, Chris prayed for me I started eating my normal food I started walking I started going up and down the stairs and I I just became normal Praise the Lord Oh I just want to first give God thanks for honoring his word in my life. I told God that after this miracle I would come and testify on this stage. And look at me now. I'm number 1 today. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. First of all, started in 2016. I just noticed that my ankles started swelling, joint pains everywhere. And you know, there was so much pain. We couldn't sleep. Went to the hospital. and they diagnosed me at that time with an autoimmune disorder. Uh, you know, we were just taking medications because the doctor said there was no cure for this. This systemic lupus as at that time we didn't know what it was, but it affects your whole body. It's it's like your body starts fighting itself, its organs, you know. So, I started taking the medication and I would feel better after some time, you know, you feel worse again. Then after like three years, I got pregnant for my son. During that pregnancy, at the time he turned up at least six months in the in the pregnancy, I just found out that one day I tried to lie down and I couldn't. I couldn't breathe properly. There was so much pain in my chest, and you know the joints made started coming back. I went to the hospital again. While I was heavily pregnant, I had open heart surgery just to drain out that child. The, the waters you know glory be to god the child is alive today strong and healthy he's 3 years old no problems but after then i had to keep on taking those medications just to survive to go to work i was low in strength i couldn't even carry the, that baby i have people taking and uh, staying with me to take care of the child with me you know i i had little strength life was just like like a pain the medical expenses were so much and to crown it all up you tell me i will be on drugs for the rest of my life fast or it was very difficult since the day fast or minister to me i have first of all i have not taken those medications again till today that i'm talking to you the second thing is look at me i can run i can jump my energy is back i was i used to be very fat before because the medications make you add weight you know excessively i've lost all the weight i'm back to my normal average weight that i used to be my children i can play with them now my husband everybody is just so happy and the the the, the ministration was not only for my body even in our home everything just changed money just came <laughs> you know finally everything just broke loose pastor 
I thank you so much. You've changed my life forever. I was on the way to death. You know, the sickness hits one organ. When they are done with it, they move to the next organ, the next organ, until you are totally out. Thank you so much, Pastor, for turning around the circumstances of our family. Thank you. I really, really love you, sir, and I will follow you till the end. Experience the moment. I want to pray for you. You know, if you can only believe, all things are possible to the one who believes. That's very important. If you can only believe, anything is possible. Anything. Trust God today. Believe in the name of Jesus Christ. Believe that what he did for those you just saw, he can and will do for you now, no matter your condition. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray for everyone who's under the influence of this program right now. I command their pains to leave their afflictions to cease. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the devil that has troubled you. I command that stomach affliction to leave in the name of Jesus. The pain leaves you now in the name of Jesus. I command the stomach tumors to leave in the name of Jesus. Be healed. Be healed right now. I rebuke the cancer. I command the cancer to die and pass out of your body in the name of Jesus. Receive healing for your body right now. Receive healing. No matter what the pains are, no matter what the afflictions are, receive healing right now. That disease leaves you in the name of Jesus. And yes, you are free. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you are free right now. Thank God for your healing. Thank God for your healing right now. And let us know what the Lord has done for you. Call us on the phone or use the details that we've given you on the screen. Make sure to watch Healing Streams TV and share your testimonies. There's so many who are calling and sharing their testimonies. Send us the videos of what they used to be and what happened to them. You'd be glad to see this too. I'll see you again. Until then, keep living an atmosphere of miracles. God bless you.